My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. What I have here is a wood-burning titanium stove from Nature Hike. Recently, I put up an overnight adventure where I used this stove, and since that episode went up, I've received countless emails about this product. Initially, I was going to just do a review later in the future, but so many people are interested in this stove, I figured, hey, I'll do a preview. This is the Nature Hike Outdoor Mini Titanium Wood Stove. If you purchase this stove, this is what you're going to receive. First off, you get a canvas draw bag. It says Nature Hike Glamping on the front here. Inside of the bag, you have the stove. If I can get it out. You have this and I'll come back to it in a second. First, let's focus on getting this stove out of here. Yes. The storage bag is a little bit too small. There we go. This is the Nature Hike wood burning stove made out of titanium. This acts as a lid to the stove. But more than that, this is a burner plate. On the bottom of the stove, you have three legs. You have a feeding port here and you have the pot supports up at the top. In addition to the pot supports being on the top, you have the legs on the bottom, you also have air holes at the bottom. I tell you what everyone, before going any further in this episode, let's get a fire going and let's make some coffee. Then we'll go over the stats and my initial impressions of this stove. As you all have seen, getting this stove to ignite, getting it going, super, super simple. The feeding port is huge here, which allows us to put in rather large sized pieces of wood. Cheers everyone, it's coffee time for me. With the stove here, I transitioned it from like a wood burning stove to heat up water, cook food and so on, into more of a fire pit. And that's because even though the company calls this the mini, this stove is quite large in fact. And as you all can see here, it's putting off a ton of fire, a ton of flame, and a lot of heat. While it's doing that, let's go over some stats real quick. This is a titanium stove. The canvas bag is a 12A canvas. And as far as the dimensions go, when it's all set up, it's six and a half inches tall and it's about five and a half inches wide. And that's with the legs fully extended. When it's stored, it's about 5.7 inches tall and 4.9 inches wide. As far as the weights go, the weight of the stove is six and a half ounces. The bag is two ounces. And this stove features a 22 pound weight limit. The retail price is $62 for this stove. But at the time of filming, you can find it for 50 bucks on Amazon. I'm about four feet away from this stove and I can feel the heat from here. It's putting off that much heat. As far as my impressions go this stove so far, let me go ahead and say this. This is a preview. This is a first look. This is not my ultimate review. In fact, this is only the second time that I've ever fired this up. My impressions of the stove so far are this. Talk about ultra light. When you see the size of the box that this stove comes in, you're gonna be like, oh man, this thing's pretty big, it's pretty heavy. But when it comes time to pull the stove out of the box, you're going to be impressed. When I pulled the stove out, I was shocked. Wow, this is lightweight. With the storage bag and the stove itself, you're looking at right around eight and a half ounces. That's lightweight, especially for a stove of this size. 
the overall quality of this stove is top notch. There's no issues when it comes to the edges, nothing like that. Everything moves fairly smoothly as well, including the legs and the pot supports. Overall, the performance of this stove is excellent. It's absolutely top notch. I was concerned about the lack of air holes surrounding the body, but that's no big deal. That has not hindered performance at all. In fact, that actually helps performance because all of the heat is directed straight up to your pot, pan, kettle, whatever. The flame and the heat has no other place to go other than up. That means that you can use it in windy conditions like I am today, and it performs extremely well. Recently, I put up my review of the One Tigris Mini Titanium Stove. Both are titanium wood stoves. Both are drastically different, even though they share the same name. This is substantially better. Without a doubt, the One Tigris Mini Titanium Wood Stove, it is a horrible product. It's very poorly thought out. They didn't even put a feeding port on it. It makes no sense. This stove here from Nature Hike, it makes a lot of sense. The only con to this thing is the overall size and bulkiness. Let's say that you put this inside of your backpack, it does take up quite a bit of space. But I look at it as this, like this. Yes, it's a little bit big and bulky, but it is super lightweight and it functions not only for like boiling water, cooking and so on, but you can use this as a small fire pit, just like I'm doing right here. The legs get the body far enough off the ground so that the ground doesn't get burned. Underneath the stove, you have a burner plate which is catching most of the debris that falls out of the stove, the hot ash, the embers, and so on. Overall, everyone, I like this stove quite a bit, I have to be honest. Like I said before, this is the second burn that I've done with this stove, and I'm curious. What about long duration burns? Is there going to be any sort of issues when it comes to warping? I will find that out and I will share my findings with you all at a later time. Talking about the One Tigris Titanium Mini Stove, I had to cut a hole in the side of that to create a feeding port so that the stove was actually usable. That stove really does feature a bad design and it's something that you should stay away from. Make sure to check out my review of that stove. Going back to the Nature Hike Titanium Mini Stove. I'm curious about your thoughts, everyone. Make sure to comment down below. Share your opinions on this stove so far. If you happen to have one, do you like it? Again, share with the community. This is a different style of stove, of wood stove, and I like that. There are so many wood stoves out on the market today, and most of them are copycats of other Chinese brands. Basically, there's like one manufacturer pumping out a billion wood stoves. All of them are exactly the same. Each has a unique logo. That's it. That's the only difference. With this Nature Hike stove, it really is different, and I like to see that. Anything different, in my opinion, is good. For now, folks, I am done. Again, comment down below, share your thoughts, hit the like button before you go. Until next time, be well, take care, strength and honor.